Patrick Solon tipped the scales at over 350 pounds last year. Simple things like tying his shoes and getting from the car to the curb were difficult. After seeing a Transformation Tuesday segment, though, he reached out to Charles D'Angelo with the hope he, too, could change his life. Now, just a year later, Patrick is 150 pounds lighter. 150. Amazing. Patrick, you look fantastic, and you told me off off air, you tried everything before reaching out to Charles. What was different about this? Yeah, thank you, Dana. Um, what was different? Um, meeting with Charles every couple of weeks is really probably the key. Um, it, it changes your mindset. It, it gives you, with his faith and conviction and belief in you, helps you create that belief in yourself um, that you can do it. Um, it's really a matter of, you know, there's always the excuses. I've tr as you said, I've tried a bunch of different things. Um, birthdays, holidays, days that end in Y, you know, you always have that excuse. Um, so it's, it really puts that mindset and we reference, Charles talks about the three-legged stool quite a bit. Um, and there's, you know, the diet and exercise, we all know about that. Um, but it's that mindset change. It's that really changing your thought process and how you overcome that to, uh, you know, make this program successful. I traveled a lot for work prior to the, the whole COVID pandemic. And it's something that you can even do traveling. Um, so you're able to, you know, eat meals out if you're, you know, on business meals. Um, you're able to do the exercise. It, it's really simple, a simple program. And ultimately, you know, you see the results, right? 150 pounds down in less than a year. Um, you know, there's no finish line. So now the fun part begins in continuing to do that maintenance portion, uh, continuing to work with Charles going forward so that I can, uh, you know, stay happy, stay healthy. I love how you call that the fun part. What are you most proud of accomplishing this last year? Oh, um, so many things. You know, one's probably the losing of 150 pounds, right? I mean, that's significant. Uh, but getting off blood pressure meds uh, was, was another big thing. Um, being able to go hiking with my family and doing stuff with them. Uh, something as simple as moving my kids into college this year was a lot easier uh, than what I've done in the past. Um, so, and then, you know, the, the fun part here is, now I get to go out and get a new wardrobe. Um, so, and I don't have to go to the big and tall shop. I can go to, you know, any store and get that. And, you know, through Charles program, you will need a new wardrobe because um, you will uh, uh, go down some sizes. So it's, it's positive from that standpoint as well. Charles, how do you help someone do such a 180 in their habits? Well, first off, I was 360 pounds. So I completely understand what it feels like and empathize with a person who's overweight and feels stuck in a place they hate. And through my own transformation, now helping thousands of other people like Patrick transform their lives, I've concluded that the type of change that Patrick's experienced has more to do with emotion and mindset than it does with food and exercise. As Patrick said, I teach that success is like a three-legged stool. You have to have exercise, obviously. So Patrick works out every day. You have to have a healthy eating plan. He has that as well. But our work, the coaching work, isn't about dietetics or nutrition or reps or new exercises. It's about how do you change the relationship with yourself where you're not turning to food like a drug, no longer giving food inappropriate meaning or using it as a distraction or a consolation when things get tough, when you're sad or when you're angry or when you're afraid. I have, and we've had on the show, many clients who are physicians, people that are incredibly educated on the science of health eating, of how exercise impacts the body. But if knowing what to do were enough, I don't think we would see the obesity epidemic that we see plaguing our nation. So it's really helping people replace spontaneity with strategy, disconnecting emotion from the things that are getting in their way. And in most of my clients' cases, that's food. Patrick, what would you recommend to others who are where you once were? Yeah, I take ownership of your choices. Um, don't delay. Um, quit making excuses. Uh, you know, choose that right path. Um, you know, without the support of my family, friends, without the support of Charles, um, I couldn't have done this. Um, tomorrow is always there, um, but it's always tomorrow. Um, we got to do it today. And, you know, quit doubting yourself. Um, you can do it. That was the one thing that when I first started out, I never would have thought that I could have lost 100 pounds at one time, let alone 150. Um, so, you know, Charles puts that, that, that spunk in your step and, uh, gets you to believe in yourself and, you know, change that mindset that we can be successful and do a good job. Congratulations, Patrick. And thanks, Charles. My pleasure.
Thank you. Charles has helped thousands of people reach their weight loss goals, and he can help you too. Just reach out, reach out to him at charles.angelo.com.